Thank you for turning to page 121. Today's video is going to be about starting up a Mongoose 2nd Edition collection. Uh, this is the request of several viewers over the last couple of months. Uh, and it's uh, something that's near and dear to my heart because building up my Mongoose collection has been something I've been doing for the last two to three years. I'm not necessarily going to show the order in which I bought the books uh, because when I started my Mongoose 2nd collection, I had a bit of chauvinism thinking, huh, I already had all that stuff. I don't need to buy the Solomani Rim book. I've got the original. Wrong. It's great to have the original, and I still refer to the original, but I bought the Mongoose uh, update, and it, the updates are so much fresher, uh, more modern science, especially to them, than it was available in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, they're just, they're worth having. But, uh, of course, the first book that I feel people should start with would be the 2022 Core Rulebook update. Uh, this guy is just invaluable. This is the core of everything you need. You have the Explorer's Edition, which is this, this version light, which is available for a dollar through Drive -Thru RPG. Uh, I'm going to show many of the books, ones that you may not have thought of that I think are important to a Traveler Collection. Uh, Mongo's second Traveler Collection, that is. And also, uh, there's going to be a little, uh, toward the end of the video, if you want to zoom ahead, go ahead. There's going to be a, 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 I'm going to talk about a way to get some PDFs that will help you quickly build your Mongo's collection. So today, uh, All subscribers, please, I uh, need to keep the channel growing. And uh, patrons, please, some of what you're going to see, I was able to get because I of the patrons. I want to thank you guys again. Uh, I try to keep my Mongo stuff as current as I can, so I'm able to present it on the channel pretty quickly after it comes out. Uh, so folks can form opinions on, on what's good or what not. And uh, that, that takes up a lot of ready cash, even for the PDFs. But uh, that's... What today's video is going to be about is going to be starting up your Traveler Collection from Mongoose 2nd Edition. Today on page 121. Before I get going on the video, I want to remind everybody about Jump Point, which is coming up on August 20th, a little under two weeks from the posting of this video. Uh, right now, as far as I know, it's going to be my gaming group and I playing. I haven't heard any feedback from anybody if they can attend or want to attend, but you know maybe can't make it. I haven't gotten any feedback whatsoever. Uh, which is really surprising. So I can leave if you can leave a comment in, either in this video or future videos or uh, In the jump point video itself. I see them all and I'm just trying to count noses If you think you can be there also, especially if you think you can run a game uh, Right now we have a D&D first edition being run by my son Adam and mongoose traveler second edition being run by me So if you can join us great now on to the video as scheduled All right, starting up a Mongoose collection. First one, obviously, to my mind, Core Rulebook. Now, like I said, I, these are not necessarily the order I purchased them in, uh, simply because I was using other Traveler rules when I first started looking at Mongoose second. Uh, and in fact, I had been, uh, I had bought a lot of Mongoose first and never really used much of it beyond reading and enjoying it. Uh, and then I got into Mongoose second, and I realized that Mongoose second is pretty darn good version of Traveler to play. So the very first book I feel you want to start with is going to be the Core Rulebook 2022 update. And keep in mind, PDF or uh, hardcover is really your choice, on, at least on the books. Um, and if you buy these through the Mongoose website, of course, if you were to buy this off Mongoose, you would actually get this plus the PDF. Uh, I love the PDFs personally. Uh, these aging eyes find it easier to read on a tablet than they do out of a book sometimes. Not always. And there are certainly going to be sets you're going to want to have in hardcover or both. So uh, definitely make your choices. But what I've been doing to this point is I've been buying a lot of the key rule books right here in hardcover and paperback, or not, I'm sorry, and PV, PDF. And then some of the adventures and things like that that I just really want to read. I may run once or twice. I'm buying those primarily as PDFs. Uh, PDFs only. That's your choice, uh, however your budget stands it, and however you uh, like to collect your stuff. So definitely the core rulebook is a great place to start. In my opinion, the next absolutely essential thing to get is a beautiful piece of work. This is Mongoose's Game Master screen. This guy is gorgeous. I'm, I've shown this before. I did a video on it a couple, about a year ago. 
Uh, the outside artwork in this thing is gorgeous. Uh, this, in my mind, is essential to have in solid form, not uh, PDF. Uh, I just, I feel you really need a DM screen, GM screen. Uh, I always like to have one on the table. So I would buy those two first. And then some people have asked me, you know, if you're starting up a campaign, what do you want to buy? Well, one good choice, thump, is this beauty right here. Pirates of Drinax. Pirates of Drinax is a really good, uh, comprehensive sandbox. You're going to be able to crawl into this thing and, and play in the sandbox for a lot of time with Pirates of Drinax. I know I haven't run this yet for my guys, but when I do, I do know one thing. They're going to steal the ship. You start out, of course, as privateers where you're working for a king of, and he wants to restore the glory of his uh, ancestors and things like that. But I know my guys, they're going to swipe the ship. So I'm already coming up with different ways, not the least of which is a software lockout uh, that has to be renewed every couple of, you know, 180 days or so. Otherwise, it'll lock out the software on the ship, something like that. So Pirates of Drenax is a great choice. There's a ton of stuff in here, some nice maps. You get three beautiful books. You get the maps. There's a bunch of supplements that went this. There's fiction. There's a soundtrack. Mongoose really went all out. Uh, and the Pirates of Drinax campaign, and it's taken me a long time to gather these. I also want to point out what you're going to see in the next couple minutes also represents a lot of Christmases and a lot of birthdays. Since I've started up this uh, quest to gather up my mongoose stuff, uh, my family likes it because it's much, much easier for us to buy gifts, for them to buy gifts for me. We've always given each other lists rather than just guess what we should get each other, and uh, my, my priorities have been various things like Pirates of Drenax. I got this for Christmas last year. I did not get the PDF for this at the time because my wife bought it for me and she got it from a store. So that, uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment as well toward the end of the video. Uh, the next one I consider absolutely essential that might go under your radar is the Third Imperium. This is a magnificent book. This was... Uh, one of my earliest acquisitions, it's got a nice map of the core sector and such. Uh, this is one of my earliest acquisitions on PDF for Mongoose, and I fell in love with it to a point that I made a point to buy the hard copy. This is by Christopher Griffin, and if you're newer to Traveler, this has an outstanding history of the Traveler universe that's updated for Mongoose. It, we meet Emperor Strephon, which you've only done a couple of times in all going all the way back to Classic Traveler. We only met Emperor, Emperor Strephon a time or two. Um, it's nice. There's a great history in here that tells you what the various uh, army, marines, navy, and scouts, what they bring to the Imperium, how important they are. Uh, just fabulous book. I consider this one of the, and I'm going to say this, one of the best supplements for, for a role-playing game I've ever read. And I've been reading these things for over 40 years. This was just a well-done piece of work. So I, I recommend that highly. The next up that, if again, you're going to be running a campaign, the Great Rift. Great Rift has some beautiful stuff in it. If you really want to get into a uh, traveler that's not really uh, part of the, the known spaces that everybody's tired of and you know oh, you've, you've been there and you've been doing it for years and years and years by the way my guys aren't tired of it uh this is a great box set it goes into the great rift uh which is of course what forms the claw for the spinward marches behind the claw that uh there's a ton of adventuring in here the island subsector and things like that so i would recommend this as a great source for sandbox role playing next up if you really want to get away from it all, Deep Night Revelation. This guy takes you beyond the fringes of the Imperium. It's a beautiful box set. Again, I love these Mongoose box sets, by the way. Uh, and Deep Night Revelation takes you away from everything and takes you deep, deep out of the Imperium exploring a problem. And they had a series of adventures, and I bought this adventure in hardcover. This is the only Traveler... Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition that I actually have in physical form, even though I have many of the other adventures, uh, because this ties directly to this box set. So I recommend Deep Night Revelation. I've done videos on all of this stuff so far where I opened them up and showed the contents and, and gone through it. 
So just go ahead and look in the archive. I've got, I think it's close to 200 Traveler videos now. Uh, just go ahead and look on the Traveler playlist. You'll find all of these. The next up I bring to uh, mention is the Element Class Cruiser set. And the reason I mention this is my next campaign is going to be based on this box set. I'm going to do an active duty campaign, as I like to call them, where the characters are going to be the command staff and also in alternate games play lower echelon characters of the crew of an Element Class Cruiser on the frontier in the Spinward Marches. It's just, uh, I've run these campaigns in the past. They're a lot of fun. You have to pick somebody to be the captain, but actually that isn't a problem if you have good role players, which thank you, I am blessed with. Uh, I already know who's going to volunteer to be captain in my game. I'm not going to say uh, because I like to leave it as a cold choice for everybody, but I know who's going to step up and say they'll do it. Uh, and if I'm right, I'll go ahead and I'll include that when I start the campaign. This won't be starting for me, unfortunately, for another couple of weeks at least. Uh, everybody's been doing vacations and such all summer. So we've been uh, sporadic in playing lately. But uh, we're going to be getting it back to it soon. And I'm going to be doing, running this campaign. And I'll be running it in conjunction with all our D&D. And with the campaign where they've gone pirate already in my existing Traveler campaign. Now I'm going to take a look at some stuff on PDF that I consider essential. And then I'm going to let you know about an offer that's going on that will help you build your collection quickly and inexpensively. One of the next things you really need to take a look at is the Essential Supply Catalog. I recommend the 2023 update. Uh, absolutely what you're going to want to uh, have on hand, as you, especially if you do your uh session zero with your players having this at hand during a session zero is going to be very handy i've only got it in the pdf of course because it just came out not terribly long ago i think the physical copy ships in october and i'm darned if i remember if i ordered the physical copy of this or not i ordered the physical copy of the imperial navy book uh that was a father's day gift for my my sons but at this one i don't think i did i think i just got this in pdf but pdf is fantastic for me uh I, I like the physical books, especially when there's maps involved, and uh, you know the element class has the, the blueprints for the ships and things like that. But uh, a lot of times I'll just take the PDF for storage, and for expense, and for easy reading. I have a much easier time reading on a tablet than on a lot of other books. So I'm going to take another a look at another book I have on PDF. This is the Traveler Companion. This, this just came out on PDF a week or so ago. I did a video on it. And this is the 2024 update. Uh, if you bought the 2020, or the, the original Traveler Companion, not the 2022 or anything. If you bought the original Traveler Companion, you get the 2024 update automatically. In fact, I bought this during the, during the drive through RPG sale. I bought the original Traveler Companion. I got that as well as the 2024 update. Lots of great role-playing stuff in here. And I, I'll admit, this is a book that I really hemmed and hawed about buying because I thought it was going to be a lot of alternate traveler stuff, which it certainly has, but it's got a lot of really good expansive core stuff too. So I highly recommend this book because of that. Next up are the regional books, as I call them. This one is the Salamani Front, and this is actually one that I disdained buying when I first started buying Mangu Second because I had so much information already on the Salamani Front. Uh, I enjoyed this book immensely. I, I did a look at it uh, a couple weeks ago on the channel. I recommend it completely. And this is one that I bought PDF only, but I am going to go ahead and have to pick up as a uh, hardbound also. I enjoyed this. It, it gives a nice look. But these kind of books are only going to be important based on where you're going to be running your adventures. So if you're just starting out and you want to run in the Salamani Rim, yeah, absolutely buy Salamani Front. But if you're going to be in the Spinward Marches, then buy some of the other stuff that I, I showed already, or the Spinward Extents, or any of those, to give you information about the area of space you're running. Now, I have always bought everything Traveler wherever it was, simply because I love reading Traveler, so 
even if I'm not going to be adventuring in that chunk of space, I'll transplant stuff all the time to my campaign. And that's what I'd planned on doing with this. I don't have any immediate plans to play in the Salamani front or Salamani uh, rim, but this, there's a ton of great ideas in this book. So I do recommend it. And the last thing I want to show is an offer going on right now through Humble Bundle. Uh, this is, as far as I can understand, it's a site that uses some of the money to go to charity. Uh, and publishers will go ahead and bundle some of their stuff here inexpensively. You can pick up the PDFs for them and uh, start up your collection very quickly. And this one was a really good one. And this one you get for uh, starting at $18.00. They have different levels. You can go a dollar, ten dollars. You get lesser choices, but you get the full bundle starting at eighteen and going to twenty-five. You get all kinds of goodness. I'm gonna have to actually turn this sideways, I think, in order for it to come up properly. There we go. Okay, for this guy, for your eighteen to twenty-five dollars or more, and if you uh, give more then they go ahead and they, they give more to the charity. And the charity in this case is Cancer Research. I don't know the folks at Humble Bundle. Uh, and frankly, I was a little hesitant to use them, but I bought, bought about four bundles off them now. And also a, a site called Bundle of Holding, and I've had no problems. Uh, I use PayPal for it, and I've had no problems. But if you buy this particular bundle, as you're starting up your, camp, your uh, travel collection, you get the Dranaxian Com Companion, Central Supply Catalog, the Field Catalog for the Mercenary Set, Glorious Empire, great book, Shadows of uh, Sindal for the Pirates of Drenax campaign, Pirates of Drenax itself, the Pirates of Drenax soundtrack, which I actually have and is pretty good. I'm going to be doing a video on that in, in the near future. The Once and Future Prince, Roshando, uh, both of which are fiction. The 2022 Core Rulebook Update, Adventure 4, Last Flight of the Amir, Adventure 3, Incident at Kaluxu, Reach Adventure 2, Theories of Everything, Another Piece of Fiction, The King is Dead, Reach Adventure 1, Marooned on Marduk, and the Explorer's uh, edition of the rules also. I had a lot of what's in this bundle. I already had the Drenax soundtrack, all of the fiction, uh, the Central Supply Catalog, Field Catalog, Glorious Empire. In fact, I had everything up here. But I did not have Pirates of Drenax or any of the other stuff for Pirates in PDF. Now I do. I wanted that in hard, hardcover because it had maps and such, and I'm very excited that I have that. But now I have the ability to take my tablet and read this stuff on my tablet as well. Also, you get the Core Rulebook 2022 update, and of course, if you're the Explorer's Edition, for $18, $25, $30, or $35, your choice. Uh, this is a tremendous deal. I picked it up a few days ago. Uh, I'm very, very happy I did. So I recommend it as a great starter. And this runs for the next uh, 19 days. Uh, as of the making of this video, by the time this video publishes, uh, it'll be about uh, 16 days. I'm making this video on a Friday, and it'll publish on a Monday. Uh, so it'll be, still be about 16 days, but I'll attach a link to the video below, or uh, to the site in the uh, area below. So I absolutely recommend it. Uh, so that's it. That's how I would start my travel collection. If I was brand new to it, I would start it here. And even though I had about half of what was already in this bundle, I ended up with PDFs I didn't have and PDFs of stuff I had only in print version. So I was very pleased to get my hands on this. Also, a quick reminder, I didn't mention at the top. <clears throat> also, a quick reminder about Jump Point. Uh, so far, as far as I know, it's going to be my players and I sitting there. No one's giving me any feedback whatsoever if they're going to be able to join us or not on August 20th. It's a Sunday at Amazing Fantasy Comics in Frankfurt. It's a great comic and game store with a beautiful open space to play in. Uh, my son Adam will be running 1st Edition AD&D, and I will be running Mongoose Traveler 2nd. We're working hard on the scenarios, and we're going to be using 3D terrain for both. So come on, it's going to be a good time. All the details will be in the video. I'll, I'll link it below. But uh, absolutely let me know if you're going to be joining us. It's going to be a first come, first served basis, by the way. So that's all I've got today on page 121. I hope you liked what you heard and saw. This is by no means comprehensive. It's just a primer on how to get started 
building your uh, traveler collection. And uh, I hope it's something that, that you find useful. Please let me know in the comments below if you need me to expand on any of this or if you found it useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on page 121.